Alright guys, how are we doing today? I hope everybody is doing fantastic and I hope everybody had a great week. Okay, this is Friday Chat. It is December 15th, 2017. Um, like I said, I hope everybody is doing fine and feeling fine. <laughs> um, I am doing great. And it's been a productive week. And, you know, got a lot of... Uh, present wrapping done and you know trying to spread a little early holiday cheer <laughs> you know without the spirits you know no libations just general holiday cheer <laughs> so um yeah all right let's get to it any Husbands, wives, boyfriends, girlfriends, masters, mistresses, <laughs> submissives, a little something, something on the side, left hands, right hands, you know, whatever you need, whatever you need. <laughs> mm. Yeah, like I said, I'm always... I always hope you guys are doing well, and, uh, you know, we're all family here, and, uh, you guys ever need to talk or anything, you know, email me. I actually talk to a lot of people, and I enjoy every bit of it. Um, now, some, some, um, less thrilled by because they want to show me their penis, but, uh, you know. <laughs> you know what guys I've seen them you know I have um you're not showing me anything though I mean if you got something spectacular that you think that I have not seen well send it my way but if it's just if it just looks like a penis I've seen it so <laughs> you know you know, you know, you don't have to waste an email. Uh, I know what they look like. I do, honestly. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but if you do, guys do want to talk or you get depressed around the holidays or whatever, you know, we all do. We miss our loved ones and, uh, that have, uh, passed on before us and stuff and, uh, or a lost love, you know. You guys want to talk? Email me at emeraldskiesasmr at gmail dot com. And we'll talk about it. It's um, it's an in fact that um, not to be so gruesome, but uh, around this time of the year is uh, a high suicide rate, and and I can understand why people feel so helpless and hopeless and uh just so grief stricken and stuff and I've been there myself you know just feeling that way so um there is you know people out there that's willing willing to listen and uh things things will get better you can think that they're not and, and I've said it myself nope things aren't gonna get better they're not it's impossible. You know, you feel like you're at the threshold of hell. But you know what? You wake up the next morning and you're still there. And then the next morning after that, you're still there. So, yeah. You know, kitties, things do get better. Because if we wake up the next morning... Things have already gotten better because you know what? There's a lot of people that don't wake up the next morning and would give anything for the life that you have. So take things in stride. You need to talk. I'm there for you. Somebody else is there for you. There's hotlines and people to talk to, you know, talk to a neighbor, talk to a family member, talk to your significant other. 
but um, don't do something so drastic that, you know, guys, you can't take it back. You might get lucky and, uh, you might get lucky and not, you know, not kill yourself. I, myself, have tried to commit suicide a few times. Fortunately for me, I'm just not very good at it. My body is some kind of machine that, uh, it just keeps going, you know. I could down 200 pills and I might get sick or my body will process it and then, seriously, I don't know. I just, it's ridiculous, you know, it's, it's not only yourself, but it's what you put your family through. And I put my family through so much dealing with, you know, extreme depression and stuff. And then you realize that you need to go get help. You need, um, you know, help with your emotions and stuff. And, and I did. So, you know, I don't do things like that anymore. Because I did go and I did seek help and, um... I do see a therapist, you know, to talk about the things I need to talk about. And and sometimes you can't talk uh, to your boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, or whatever about, um, you know, the thing, you know, anything. Sometimes it's easier to talk to somebody you're not related to or somebody you're not connected to. So um, it seems to flow easier, you know, because these people don't judge you. You can tell them anything. They don't judge you. You know, and there's confidentiality. So, yeah. Don't worry about telling them things because um, they can't tell anybody else. Unless it's something illegal. But, yeah, that's the best. That's probably the best thing I've ever done. And uh, I'm a better person for it. And when you're a better person for it, well, you're a better person for everybody else. You know, you're a better support system for the people around you, too. So, you guys have to realize that, too. Um, people, um, people rely on you just like you rely on them. And, uh, and especially this time of year, uh... You know, make yourself feel better and make and reach out. Do something for somebody else. Check on a neighbor. Even if they're the meanest neighbor on the block, you check on them. These people are mean for some reason, you know. It does, um, to do something for somebody without getting something in return. You do actually get something in return, you know. It makes, it makes yourself feel better. And uh, it's good for your heart and your soul, you know. Do something for somebody else. Not just t this time of year. You know, I hate seeing... Um, you'll see... Um, like a few weeks ago when I was going to the doctor. I noticed that um, a church was getting a delivery, you know. And this church doubled as a food bank. And they get extra food at the holidays. Well, people eat all year round. So, uh, I understand giving them extra at the holidays, you know, for special dinners or whatever. But, um, that needs to be a thing every day, you know. It really does. Um, there's too many homeless people. And, um, there's too many people going hungry in this world. And it shouldn't happen. And it happens because we're we're selfish. We're selfish, greedy people. And we want more and more and more. And if we would settle for just having enough. Just having enough to get by. And we would share. And we would realize that we are not the center of the universe then nobody would be hungry and nobody would be homeless 
And that's the truth. We are so, we are such greedy people. And, uh, you know, me included too. I try, I try not to though. I try to help whenever I can. And, uh, you know, I always give extra and, uh, I do what I can on my part. So, it's not just a speech that I'm giving you. You know, I do try to practice what I preach. So, and I hope you guys do, especially not just this time of year, even though it's a good gesture every day of your life. And it will, it will make you feel so good to help somebody else. Even when you're when you're in your darkest of days, help somebody else. And you'll see how much lighter your days become when you help another. Honestly. Well, I love each and every one of you. And if you need to talk, you know where I am. And... Just ask for help if you need it. Talk to somebody. I'm here. Other people's there. You guys are worth it. You really are. I love you guys. Take care.